Hi there, welcome, welcome to Home Keepers. Come right on in, my friend. It's a good day, hope you're having a good day. And we try to deal with anything and everything that affects the home. And some of the, you know, your emails and your notes recently have kind of had one theme and it said, thanks for educating us. Well, you have no idea how that makes me feel because that's what I like. I like to be educated and like to educate you. And the way that happens is that the Lord sends us guests that are experts in so many, many areas of life. And uh, so we are getting the desired effect when you say that. And if you uh, watch us regularly, you know that we do deal with so many things. Uh, it could be your finances, your health, uh, cooking, making beautiful things for your home, all kinds of educational gifts we have. And so I'm glad they're beneficial to you. And I am very, very thankful for that feedback that we get. My guest today returns, uh, Kurt and Debbie Holtus, and they are wonderful missionaries to the Dominican Republic. And the way God has blessed them, given them favor among uh, government officials. And uh, also you're going to see today a special needs hospital for kids. And uh, they're very much involved in this. And so if you've watched this very much, you know that my heart is with missions ever since I was a little kid. And I'm so glad to bring these from all over the world to you, our wonderful viewers. And we've got a brand new feature today because uh, Stephanie is going to teach me something about Chalk Couture. And I'm going to give you secret of my life. My first worst grades in school were art. I, I do not have good penmanship. You know that if you've ever received a letter from me. And so I am kind of wading into territory where I am not very proficient, but Stephanie's going to show me how to uh, really make this beautiful art couture and how it can really be a blessing in your home and watch when we're on there because we'll have a website and all that you can reach uh, Stephanie and find out more and more about what she's doing there. Before I join her though, let me remind you, we are viewer supported. So that's you, my good friend, uh, our viewers. Sometimes you order products, sometimes you just send an offering, whatever it is, we do appreciate it. And I am asking you for an offering. You can write to us at the address on your screen. And uh, you have no idea what a blessing that is in the morning, you know, to kind of go through the mail. And also you can use the 800 number if you want to use your credit card or your, uh, not a, you wouldn't, you would you use a debit card? You could use sure. it. Yes. Sure. I'm showing my ignorance again about <laughs> <laughs> because Stephanie uses a lot of credit cards. I use cash and checks. So yes, got to balance here. Okay. And now I'm just going to watch you. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. So, okay. Let me say this one okay. thing. How, <laughs> how important this is. We're going to show you an important message. I believe in messages around your house. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to have a, you know, a religious museum at all, but to have uplifting messages it works. I promise you it works. So It's true. So uh, short story, I was looking for a part-time job forever, mm -hmm. you know, going through cancer, having medical bills, things mm -hmm. build up. Mm -hmm. So like, we got back into a little more debt, you know, we were trying to get out before. Mm -hmm. So looking for a part-time job forever, but I have a family and I have a full-time job. So I was looking for something mm -hmm. that would be conducive. And then I found Chalk Couture. Mm -hmm. So that's how this all came about. And that, that's why I'd like for you to take a note of the website when it comes up. Get a pencil and write it yeah. down. And if you want to know more, you can find out from Stephanie. Okay. Okay, so this is super, it's so easy. Mm -hmm. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so today. We'll see. Today we have the S for me and my house transfer. I love that. Okay. That's and what I'm talking about messages. Yeah, and it's screen. It's a screen print, so it's not like any other transfer you'd get in a like a store where. So you can order this stuff. Uh, this is all stuff you order. Yes, and you make your own stuff at home. You can make very personalized things. So when you get your transfer, you're, it's going to be really sticky. Mm -hmm. So we do what we call fuzzing. You just do it on a towel. I you call it what? Fuzzing. 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 You're That's a getting, new word. Yeah, you're getting a little fuzz on the back, so mm -hmm. it's not so sticky. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have boards, but uh, surfaces, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Target. There's a million different places. So I'm just going to eyeball this and center it. I'm an eyeballer. We're just going to press around the letters. 
We have... Um, I think maybe I could do that. You could. We have Chalkology paste and inks. So you can do almost any surface. You can do fabrics. Mm -hmm. You can do ceramics here. I've done these signs. I've made these magnets. Oh my goodness. Yes, there's, there's, you can do so many different things. So you just press that down. So I have some of my favorite colors mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do a little ombre effect today. But it's super simple, it's so easy. So I'm just gonna take some white chalk paste. Which this I've is already, fascinating, girl. I've already stirred up. I've never seen it up close. Yeah, and I'm just going over that whole <gasps> screen print. Okay, and I'm just going to go so far because then I'm going to do a different color. You and, know, a, a mutual friend of Stephanie and me gave me something similar mm -hmm. for Christmas. And I found a little place to hang it right over my kitchen sink where you hang out a lot. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how it encourages me. Yeah, I look it's always at it. nice to have uplifting. So the good thing about this stuff is you take the excess off and you put it right back in the <laughs> jar. So you use can it use again. it later. Yeah. You know how frugal I am. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the white. I'm going to go to the teal. We're going to go a little bit below this and then we're going to mix them together and make a little ombre. A little ombre to where it goes from light to dark. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And I'm having so much fun. I'm doing like Facebook Lives from home. Yes, and they could uh, learn from that from your website. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. And well, but the other night, I'll tell you what happened. The other night, I'm doing it, and my phone died, like right in the middle of everything. So well, it was a little nightmare. Okay, but. now there's a little there that doesn't have any. Oh, yep, you're right. Let me go up yeah. there and do a little turquoise. We'll make pretty. So you're mixing the white and the yeah there's a little right there oh I know that I have to I have to blend okay but thank you <laughs> show she's on the ball <laughs> yeah I gotta uh -huh. blend that. okay and then we're gonna do the purple I got a big squeegee for that look at that how beautiful mm -hmm. that is well she has some things in her office and I just love what's the one though that's kind of scroll it looks like it's made out of that's a brown paper. Yeah, that's exactly what it's made out of. What does it say? It I says, uh, it's a it's a Thanksgiving one. It's yes. about harvest. I I look yes. at it every day. You think I would know what it says? I don't. Well, I okay. don't know. I'm very very okay. sincere when I say that. Um, okay, so we have one minute. So let me do okay. this real quick. I'm just I'm just gonna blend okay. these. Okay. Gonna make a little ombre. Oh, y you you live in a culture where you really need. Good messages uplifting. Yeah. Let me do this. Oh, okay. E. Okay. You're going to hold the board. Hold it good. Hold it good. You're going to see how amazing this is. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gorgeous. I, <laughs> I love it. I love okay, it. I love it. Here. Well, I hope you got the information on this. Uh, Look at that. Just Isn't let your mind go crazy. All the things you could do for... You know, Christmas, Valentine's Day, thanks. I know, and it's so easy. I get easy. excited every single yes. time I pull yes. a transfer yes. off, and it looks this good. All right. I hope you'll take advantage of that. Now I want you to watch this video of a special needs hospital, and then I will be talking to the Holtus. If you haven't heard them before, you will love them. We are here at Casa de Luz in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. It is a special needs orphanage here for 38 of the most precious children you have ever seen. We are currently unloading two trucks of wheelchairs, lifts, whirlpool tub, bed linens, diapers, and a ton of physical therapy equipment to help the caretakers and therapists take better care of the children here. It's because of your prayers and your donations that we're able to send this equipment here and spend time with them today. We are about to go see each of the children with a doctor and I will be working with some of the therapists here just talking about the new equipment that we brought. So thank you so much for your prayers. Continue to pray for us today and tomorrow as we work with these children. Dios le bendiga. God bless you.
Okay, that was some rather sobering video that we were just looking at, and the good folks who bring the good news to the gospel in the Dominican Republic, and they, they deal actually with a special needs orphanage and, and other such ministries. They're right here with me. Welcome back. Oh, it's good, good to, to be, be here. Glad to have you back. Um, I've seen, maybe not quite a bit, I don't know how much you have, but I've seen some of your video, and it's very good, I might say. Thank you. But when I saw the special needs orphanage, mm -hmm. that really grabbed me. I thought, I've never heard of an orphanage like that, even in the United States of America, right. uh, which is really quite a compassionate nation. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of one here either. And so, uh, well, let's give a little bit more background. Certainly. You, you've been dealing in the Dominican Republic as missionaries for how many years? Fifteen years now. 15 years, and the Lord has blessed your relationships. You're mm. kind of on first name basis with the president. Correct. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> and other governmental officials, uh, officials, which has given you uh, really some great inroad. Incredible favor that God has given us. So uh, one day I was picked up by a government official and said, you're going to speak to Congress now in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm like, thank you for the warning. <laughs> but actually... Uh, uh, three of the president's cabinet members have given their lives to Christ under our ministry are in our helping us with the work that we do in that country to help their people now. And so how did you, I understand you didn't plant this orphanage that you, you kind of uh, stumbled on it in some way. Exactly. And, and you, then your wife has a story that endeared this to your heart even more. I think I'll start with, with Debbie. Yes. Um, this really grabbed you because you have a niece with special needs. Right. I have a niece with special needs who miraculously now is 42 years old, was not thought that she would live to see her second birthday. And so my sister has worked in this circle of friends over the years. And last year she had called me and a dear friend of hers daughter had passed away and the friend wanted to donate her wheelchair, her lift, all the, the special equipment that they had. And so my sister called and said, would you be interested? And we've learned over the years, we always say yes, yes. because we know God knows where it needs to go. And, and you so, didn't know about any of this? No, we didn't knew know. nothing about the orphanage. Mm -hmm. And But we said yes, it was several months before we were scheduled to go and take the mm -hmm. team. And the next month, we had a meeting uh, with the president, and it was through that meeting that we were connected with the Special Needs Orphanage, which isn't actually a government-funded no. orphanage. It was started by a pastor and his wife. Who had a special Who needs had a special child. needs child. This is one of the most amazing stories in how God takes the saddest situations right. mm -hmm. and builds them for his kingdom. Amen. Yes. Now, you told me earlier that when you walked in, pleasantly, the place was immaculate. Oh. I know why. It's because the pastor and his wife had a child there. Right. That's right. make you clean it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what, what was it like to go in? Most of them are completely bedridden, right? Yes. They're in beds. Uh, some of them are up in wheelchairs, but most of them in, are in beds because they don't have wheelchairs that are specifically made to handle a child with cerebral palsy. And so uh, uh, they're, they're bedridden, but they're very well taken care of. We were amazed. Uh, the, the facility was clean as could be. And, uh, you know, some of the children that have been brought there have been brought by other parents in the Dominican Republic. They heard about this pastor that had a child that had cerebral palsy, so they brought their children to the pastor. And sometimes just to leave them with the pastor for a few hours while they did some shopping problem is is that they never came they back came for their back. child. In fact, one of the children that's there, I can't remember his name, honey, mm -hmm. but one of the children um, unfortunately was burned just to get rid of him by his parents because they didn't know how to take care mm -hmm. of him. And that little child is in the orphanage and being very well taken care of today. And these very special children Jesus loves Amen. so much are in a area where there's a lot of love and they're well taken care of. Right. Now, uh, your ministry has helped them, though, uh, 
was this the place that needed a new roof or something? They needed a new roof because... And she had a heart attack while you were saying, <laughs> okay, we'll take care of that. Well, you know... $15,000? It, it, it's, it's a hard thing. When you have 260 people coming, you know that your expenses are going to be huge just doing what we're doing, and we're five and a half hours north of there on the North Shore. The Special Needs Orphanage is all the way on the South Shore. And as I'm looking at the ceiling, God's telling me to put a new roof on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, God, you don't understand, <laughs> you know. Okay, God, you don't understand. Yeah. Oh, we don't have the money for this. How do you, and finally, after I got done she's talking. She's hyperventilating. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, she, she had no clue what was going on in my mind. And finally, I just turned and I said, we'll put a new roof on the facility. <laughs> that's and when I hyperventilated. That's when she hyperventilated because she knows we're not at the First she National know, Bank of, you know. You can't underestimate a wife. That's <laughs> right. She, she but you know what? God God provided in a, in a miraculous way for, for the $35,000 to do all of that. And uh, people have came forward with uh, boxes of uh, Depends and, and disposable diapers because these are desperately needed. Even now, we desperately need them. We took 10 pallets last year, and there, I was there just two weeks ago and they're almost completely out. They Boy, they, need and people. they need those. If you want a yes. real right. glamorous ministry, let me tell mm -hmm. you, here's one. They need diapers. Yes. yes. Uh, we're going to put your address up. Now, Please. this address is in uh, North Fort Myers, Florida. Right. That's not too far from where we are. And depends, diapers. Mm -hmm. I, I bet that's the biggest blessing huge. that yes. orphanage gets at all. It was it was huge. They wept when we pulled the trucks up and started unloading this year. Do you know how many diapers? <laughs> I don't know Literally. how many, but we took about a, a little over half a million dollars worth of supplies to them this Praise year the that we gave to them, and uh, it was a tremendous help to them, of course. Okay, I get really excited, and I think a lot of you do too. Uh, write this address down. You never know what the Holy Spirit will tell you later. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, I wish I had that address. Where can I get it? Write it down. I've had it happen to me so many times when, you know, you hear something and then it, it really resonates later on. And uh, I've learned when God tells me to give, do it, get over it, because um, you're not going to sleep well till you do. I've <laughs> learned that about giving. And so... Another thing you can use is uh, reader glasses. Reader yes. glasses, Dollar absolutely. Dollar store. Yes. Um, uh, Flip flops. Mm -hmm. Any um, used, we can take used Beanie Babies. Right. I used mean, what? Beanie, beanie Babies. babies. Oh, the, beanie you know, the, babies. Little the little stuffed animals, mm -hmm. which most people collected and now they're in a box someplace. Mm -hmm. That brings a smile. We've learned that it doesn't matter how old the person is. We had a 94 year old woman that we gave a little cow beanie baby to as she came through the clinic. She put it on her shoulder. She said it was the first gift she had ever had. She patted oh, it and she goes, we will have milk in the morning. It was like, just precious. Just precious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, well, I remember when my mom, my mom lived to be a hundred and wow. you know, her mind was gone and she had a little doll mm -hmm. and it means a lot. Um, let's put this address back up now. Uh, glasses, uh, Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. Diapers. Flops, diapers. diapers. Really, Models, anything. pacifiers. Yes. Think what, think what you and your kids need and send some for the Dominican Walkers, Republic. walkers. Um, walkers uh, and wheelchairs. Pediatric. If anybody is finished oh, yeah. with their walkers or wheelchairs, That's right. we, have, we, uh, we have no resource to get those. Mm -hmm. So it's only when someone's finished with that. If we could have those, we take them there. It's mm -hmm. like gold to them. And the pediatric special needs wheelchairs huge the, the small yeah. there's there's special needs it's to, they have the straps to help hold the children in and help them to be comfortable and uh, so so desperately needed so um, as i said you know when we first began to talk how that special needs orphanage grabbed me um, but your ministry is vast that's yes. that's only part of it that right. you help uh, you were on the program before. We showed a lot of the medical things and dentistry. Uh, you can do without the pictures pulling teeth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well, <laughs> I didn't edit I, that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, toothaches are. 
pretty serious. Yes. Let's face it. An affected tooth can kill you. Mm -hmm. Can go to the brain. Toothbrushes and toothpaste. Huge. Huge. Okay, toothbrushes, toothpaste. Okay, because see, I got wonderful. I got the most wonderful viewers, and <laughs> some of them can send a little something, but there are some that could send you big boxes mm -hmm. of things. And and to pray it, There's for nothing us. as That's... wonderful as as giving to the Lord. And, yes. and w when you give something specific, it, it almost you know has a name on it. Okay, the you. The medical things. Yes. What else do you do? Well, we do pastors' conferences. Last year we had our, the largest pastors' conference ever held in the Dominican Republic with about 1,100 people on the North Shore. And uh, during that time, the pastors, we pour into their lives. A lot of they've been called, they're anointed, but they're unlearned. And we help yes. to pour into them to get them further equipped for the ministry that God has called them to. And it has literally changed the face of that nation. The ladies, why don't you tell that story about the, the well, pastor's wives' the, conference? One of the leaders came to us last year after the, the conference and had said, for three years now, we have bought, we have done the pastor's conference, but we've also provided a, a woman pastor to minister to the women and we separate them and then we bring them together. Correct. And he, he had told us that it has literally changed the face of the church there because yes. the husbands and wives, they were either like this or she felt no part of the ministry and it's it has united them in the call that God has on them and so it's changed the church across the nation. Yeah, Sorry, your, your word unlearned because I asked you about that when we were in the dressing room mm -hmm. that it, it really bothers me that we can go and get people saved, right? But you got to learn to be holy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and think of America. We have, I think, people have no idea of what Martin Luther did for America, right. right? Right, right there. Okay, but then we had Jonathan Edwards, and we had all these people mm -hmm. coming through. These people, all they know is kind of John three sixteen, right. right? And you you want your pastors to be very learned to say, teach. What is a husband? What is a father? Right. What is a wife? What is a mother? And how does all of that yes. work? That's the way the nation is really blessed. Right. Correct, correct. We've taken books in for both the ladies and for the men. And this year, um, Girls with Swords from, um, from uh, Lisa Bevere and from John Bevere, last year we took in Good or God. And it was just amazing to see how the That's pastors, oh them. my goodness, tremendous for them. Tremendous, all in Spanish. Yeah, I, I'm a big one for for education yes. and uh, that we do that. Now, you also build things? Oh, we built a church, an 8-meter wide by 12-meter long church in literally 70 years. How many feet is years. that? Well, a <laughs> meter is 39 inches. Okay. So it's, it's large. It's big. It's yeah. big. And boy, they in seven days, they built that church and blessed. I mean, and, and the church had to pay nothing. Our people brought, well, funds that are donated to us and given to us for the work, for bringing in all these materials and in containers to help the people of that nation. And uh, those funds also go to help us do the project in the Dominican Republic every year. Last year it was the church. And so uh, all paid for. And they had said that it would have taken over 15 years exactly because right. literally they can only build what they have the money to get. That's right. So it's a few blocks at they a time. They buy one cinder block at yes, a time. Exactly. exactly. It literally. Yeah. And so th they were just to see the faces of the people that go to that church. It was their little church building, if you could call that, oh my. was sliding off the side of the mountain. Like literally, it was scary to walk. Yes. through the door you because it was it. tipping mm -hmm. over uh, and with a with a big rain I mean really gone. last year it would have mm -hmm. been gone yep so yeah I keep getting back to uh, doctrine and how, how important yeah. mm -hmm. how important Very uh, much so. what we teach them is uh, but you know Kurt and Debbie when I was a kid and you're probably be my children but we lived in a expectation. I remember as a little girl, I go to bed and think, Jesus might come tonight. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now he's coming. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Every single day exactly. in the newspaper, it's really saying Jesus is coming. Right. That's what it's saying. And now that the capital, mm -hmm. uh, Jerusalem is going to be uh, mm -hmm. back in where it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. uh, signs in the, t in the, right in the uh, atmosphere, yes. but also I think the the anger 
of man against man, right. husband, wife. You see it on TV, even on the news. People right. are just arguing their heads off. Uh, so what we do, we need to get it done. We there's, need to get it done. There's not a lot of time left. I mean, Arthleen, we've got to be about our father's business. We've got to work while it is yet day, for the night is coming. And uh, we need to do it now. So we take hope. So are, are they <laughs> expecting the Lord to come? They are. Absolutely, okay. Are. We are out of time, but thank you for being with me again. It's been a pleasure. Always enjoy it, and you stay with me. I have a couple things to say before we have to say goodbye. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Wasn't that wonderful? Jesus said, this gospel shall be preached unto all nations, and then the end will come. And the wonderful thing about Christian television is we can, we can bring to you and show you how the gospel is being preached in all parts of the world. And Homekeepers, we, we brought you quite a few of those, you know, in our programs. And it's so important that we realize because of this wonderful, wonderful evangelism that's going on, it does tell us that the end is near. And what we do, we need to do quickly. And the first place you begin is with your family. You want your family in heaven with you, don't you? So be sure that you pray with them and, and teach them the things of the Lord. Lead them to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ and you can have them in heaven. What could be greater? Well, we are out of time, my friend, but join me next time remembering there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you should miss a homekeeper's program, you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com. Click on CTN Programs and then on Homekeepers. 